to my channel. Today I want to talk about the Clairons 4-in-1 pen. It's three eyeliners and one lip liner and again it's by Clairons. And let's see if you can see that. I purchased this at Macy's when they were having a sale. The regular price is $32. This product is very cool looking. It reminds me of my childhood. If this reminds you of your childhood, the pins, and you want to see how it works, hit the subscribe button below and keep watching. This a couple times, and I have found that the liner does smudge a little bit on the lower lash line. I don't usually wear liner in the waterline, so I can't really speak to that. It stay on. Uh, like I said, it just smudged a little bit on the lower lash line, so just be aware of that. I tried it with just lining the lips and using it with the Clinique lipstick. I also tried filling in the lips with this and just putting a gloss over it and after I ate and drank it was pretty much gone. There was a little bit of color but very slight. So if you're going to purchase this, I wouldn't really purchase this with the expectation with the expectations that it's going to be really long wearing and just an awesome, you know, product that's going to stay put. But I would say it's a fun product so purchase it with that expectation that it's something fun to use it's just a throwback it feels really cool I'll insert the first I'll insert a video of my first impressions on it and it is it's really neat to hold it and it just it feels really cool growing up and still today I love office supplies and this is just awesome who remembers these kind of pins where they have the multi colors? If you do, I'd love to know. Comment down below. Just say yes and let me know that you loved these kind of writing pins. But this is not a writing pin. This is for your eyes and lips. So we have one color, the red is for the lips. We have black, gray, and brown for your eyes. So let's see how this works. A little works. bit about this, the colors that I got is an O2. It, is, it has four retractable shades, multi-use eyes and lips, comfortable formula for eyelids and lips. That's really pretty much all the package says. So let's get started. A base color down from LA Colors. I have this shade right here. And I'm going to try I think I will try the black right now. And then when you pop it down, it kind of looks like it has a plastic coating on it. It doesn't give you any directions. Okay, so when you're first starting it, you see that plastic cover there? It gives you arrows right here and you have to twist it for the product to start coming out. Let's see how it's coming out of the plastic to get it. And it definitely feels kind of strange to hold a pin like this. My first thought is it's going on pretty easy. It doesn't feel like it's pulling at the eye at all. And it's pretty easy to just get it close to the lashes, you see, and I pretty and I got it pretty straight. So my first impression on this one is I do like it. It seems very easy to apply. It's creamy and soft, but not too soft where it's smudging all over. We'll just flick it up a little bit. And normally I don't do the lower lash line a lot, but I want to give that a try. Just kind of pop it up a little bit more. I usually always find with the lower lash line I can never get both eyes even. So a lot of times I just avoid it. <laughs> but that looks pretty good. So I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. Just both eyes. 
And like I mentioned, usually I have a lot of trouble getting both eyes even, especially the lower lash line. But with this pin, I think that they're pretty even. It was easy to apply, creamy. The pin does, not that you would probably get confused, but it does show you a little eye and then on the lips, a little lip below there. It's very easy to hold and I just love it. It's just so cool. So here is the finished eye look. I had finished up with LA Colors, this purple color inside and then a shimmering loose eyeshadow with brush from LA Colors. I'm working on trying out the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, excuse me, uh, LA Colors. But here is, you can see the eyeliner, it was smudged pretty nice with the eyeshadow at the top and I still like how the lower lash looks. I'm back with the rest of my makeup done. I use mostly LA Colors, the blush, highlighter, and contour. So just to kind of give an idea, I will be doing a review video of LA of LA Colors, excuse me. I'm thinking retro talking about LA or talking about the 80s pin. Uh, but I will be doing a review on LA Colors, so make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss that one on my upcoming video. So we're going to try the lip. So again, it's red, and as you can see, that's how it looks at first. So that's how it looks at first, so you definitely have to crank it until you get a little bit out. And I'm just doing a tiny bit over the plastic protection part. It goes on pretty smooth and I feel like having the wider pin actually makes it easier to hold. Being said, I do feel like you have to kind of the outer corner for some reason. I don't know it, the way that I'm holding it, I guess, and trying to look at the mirror. The outer corner, as you can see, did go up on both sides so I'm not exactly sure why my initial thought is the eyeliner definitely a winner easy to apply easy to go straight get even on both eyes the lip liner in the center I really liked it and around the cupid's bow you could really get a good line in on your lower but for some reason in the corners I don't know the way that it is or that it is thicker and maybe not as thin but I felt like in the corners I had trouble getting it to stay on my lip line. I don't smell any odor so if scent is a problem for you I think that you'll be fine with using this. So just to talk a little bit about the company itself it was founded in 1954 in Paris. I really didn't know much about the company I mean I've heard it I know it's been around forever. Founder. He developed a massage oil in his beauty institute. He used that oil in his massages. And then his customers started to request the, the oil to purchase because they liked it so much. His motto is do more, do better. So they're continually trying to improve on their products. You know, the oil that they've had from the beginning, they've updated it throughout the years, always improving. Most of the products are made in France. Uh, not all, obviously, but like this is made in Japan but some of them are made in France. The founder died in 2007 and his son has been on the chairman since 2000. In 1991 is when they had their first makeup collection and in 2002 is when they first entered the men's skincare category. I hope you found this video enjoyable. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below and if you could also hit subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If you hit the notification bell next to it, it lets you know whenever a new video does go up. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.